Hi everybody, this is Herc and Fresh, aka Blue Phoenix. I'm back with a new video here. I'll be talking about Sinfire and how we can set it up. I'm going to give you just a show, a demo of what I'm going for here. Uh, if you install Sinfire, it's a very intimidating setup, I'll say that. But I think I've got it nailed, so I'm going to show you kind of what's going on here. This is just a really kind of not that great tune I started with. So if I focus here on the uh, Concert Grand, it's just a nice piano sound coming out of contact. One of the challenging things is getting all these plugins to have the correct uh, values here in the uh, in the settings, so you can just pick a sound. So if I want to change that concert grand, let's say I want to change it to a a, a singing woman, I can do that. So it took me a while to figure out how to get that to work. It's it's amazingly difficult uh, to to do that. Um, I can also go in here and let's say I want to use a synth instead. Um, let's see, let's do, let's go over here and select uh, one of my open zebras here. Zebra A is open, and I will just like pick a um, I don't know, something here. So now I'm using a uh, zebra. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, uh, just to prove to you that this is actually working, is I'm going to wipe out all my settings. Um, all your settings for Sinfire, they show up in a couple places. Uh, Program X Files 86 Cognitone Sinfire Pro Config. So I am actually going to go up a level, and I'm just going to I'm just going to give this a new name. And uh, and then there's also one in. Uh, your documents, Sinfire Pro config uh, folder. I'm just going to go here and, and rename it, and then Sinfire won't be able to find it, so it's going to have to generate from scratch. So uh, I'm just going to run Sinfire again. Uh, hopefully it doesn't have a complete fit. So it'll say blah, 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 about something about DAWs. Who cares? Say OK. And it's going to do a little bit of, uh, it says no plugins found. So we haven't set up anything yet. Um, obviously, um, there's no current MIDI port, blah, blah, blah. You want to check, do not show again. That gets pretty annoying. So it's like, oh, hey, do stuff. <laughs> like, okay, where do I start? So what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to set up our, our MIDI out. Um, so I need to make sure I've got that right. So I go to audio settings here. I actually have my, my different drivers here, Windows Audio, Direct Sound, and ASIO. Uh, I've installed ASIO for all too, and if I just hit test, um, apparently nothing is happening. So, uh, so as you can see, the default is trying to use my webcam, which is obviously not going to work. Uh, my audio interface actually is really crappy. Uh, Newmark Audio, it's cheap, but it does the job. There's our test tone. That's pretty straightforward. You can set your buffer size and uh, your sample rate. I, I just leave it where it is, and uh, and I hit done. So we're actually making sound already. So that that's the first step. We're also gonna uh, we're gonna scan for our installed plugins. So um, uh, okay, so you have to launch Audio Engine 64 bit first. My mistake. Welcome to Sinfire. So. Uh, now we're going to do a scan installed plugins, and I don't know why it shows up behind. So, okay, so it's going to start with 32-bit again. I'm going to hit start. It's going to go through and find all these plugins again. They failed to load because this it does the 32-bit scan first, um, and those are all 64-bit. So now that I've turned on that 64-bit engine, I get a 64-bit scan. I'm going to hit scan again. Diva are the same as Zebra 2. The Yuhi Sense are really set up well for this, by the way. Okay, so we should now have some uh, plugins available. Um, so if I go and uh, what we need to do here, just to test this out, I'm going to say plus here. And this is going to say, um, so I just need to set load plugin here. And we should see now all of the cool synths that are on my list. I'm actually going to go ahead and just pick, um, we'll start with Contact 5. I don't know why there's two on the list, but I'm just going to pick one and, and pray. So here it pops up, and I can go in here and like pick 
let's pick a piano out here, the Giants, and, uh, and then I can just close it. And under unknown device, I'm going to hit this, and uh, I'm just going to hit this and see what happens. <laughs> okay, so global device descriptions. I think I need to add one for, uh, yeah, so if I go over here and I say new, and I say fixed channels, we're just going to call this contact. Okay, and then under group type, I'm going to put it under samplers, or I'm just going to leave that as samplers. I should be able to now select samplers, contact, blam, awesome pants. Now, I should be able to in my, so when I close that, it's going to save. I go over here to my null sound, that's such an awesome name, and I go contact, and if I pull that, push that button, you can see there are giants in here. And uh, let's just say I go in, uh, uh, let's just make sure, oh nice, uh, I am not ready to do that right now, Cognitone, but thank you, I will, I will do that later. Okay, so I finally figured it out. Uh, what happens here is you've actually got different settings for your 32-bit engine and your 64-bit engine for your sound outputs. So what I had to do was go back to the 32-bit engine, hit the wrench, uh, set it to Windows Audio. I don't really care because I'm not going to use it. Um, and then for engine 2, hit the wrench, hit this, and then make sure this is set to play. We should be good to go now. What a beautiful sound. Okay, save it. All right, now we should be able to go to contacts and open this up. Yay, there's the giants. Woohoo. And if I grab a uh, example harmony, let's let's do that one. That looks really cool. Uh, and then uh, phrases. Um, ah, man, this thing's tiny. Thank you. Let's just grab this RP thing here. Come on, baby. It's working! It's working. I don't know where my face went. It just kind of crashed out. Okay, so there we go. That's the basic setup for Sinfire. We now have a plug-in. It is making noise. You can see here that these things are, are moving along. What we're going to do in the next part of the tutorial is we're going to set up uh, contacts uh, with multiple instruments. It's actually uh, it's not too hard to do. Uh, and then we'll also do the Yuhi Sense as well. So I'll catch you in the next time. Hopefully my face will return for the next tutorial. See you then.